We're going to go ahead and get started this evening in our meetings. And to begin, I wanted to bring some ob observations about seeking, seeking the Lord. Whenever we come here on the Lord's Day, that's what we're doing. We're seeking the Lord. And so I wanted to begin by giving you some things to think about here. Seeking characterizes the people of God in his kingdom. He first sought us. So it's only right now that we seek him. Amen. We seek him, we seek his righteousness, and we seek his kingdom. In seeking, we've been made aware, firstly, that there is something offered and something that's attainable. Not many people will begin searching for something that they don't know about, nor will they seek for something that, they th that they're convinced is out of their reach or that cannot be attained. They probably won't seek for it. So we see and desired something that's been offered by the Lord. Psalm 27, 4 says, One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, and to behold the beauty of the Lord and inquire in his temple. David saw that this is what was offered. This is something that could be attained, and that's why he sought it. But we also see that we seek for something we don't have. It wouldn't be reasonable for, something, for someone to seek for something they already possess. If they already have it, they don't need to seek after it. Maybe it would be something that we once had but have lost. That would be another reason for seeking. We seek to recover it. I thought about the lost sheep and the lost coin that we were taught about in the scriptures. This is the case here. Luke 15 verse 8 says, What woman having ten pieces of silver, if she loses one piece... Doth not light a candle and sweep the house and seek diligently until she find it. Yeah. It seems to me that she was so intent on regaining this money of hers that was lost that she would have continued the search no matter how long it took until she found that coin. Amen. We want to be so resolved in our seeking, whether it's something we've lost or something we have yet to attain. Let us have a strong driving desire that will help us in our laboring in seeking. You will also notice that this woman prepared to seek. It says that she lit a candle before she started looking in the house. We know you can't find a whole lot in the dark. And so she lit a candle. She prepared for her seek. The light that she prepared would give her the ability to see in more places that she might not have been able to see otherwise or to see more clearly the things that she was looking at to see if that was exactly what she was seeking. So we want the light in our seeking as well, to gain the advantage in our seeking. We want to ask the Father to illumine the eyes of our heart and that he would give us understanding as we seek him. Now, I think it's important that we remember this preparation. There is a preparation before we seek. It's a preparation to be made. Ezra, he prepared to seek the Lord. In Ezra 7.10, it says, For Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach in Israel the statutes and judgments. So prepare to seek. We want to make both ourselves and our environment conducive for searching. Amen. Here are some other scriptures that have to do with preparation. In Hosea 10 verse 12, sow to yourselves in righteousness, reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground for it is time to seek the Lord till he come and rain righteousness upon you. Again, in 1 Chronicles twenty two nineteen, 19, now set your heart and your soul to seek the Lord your God. Set it. Be determined. Be resolved. Set this in your mind and heart that you'll seek until you find. The Lord can teach us to do this. The woman who was seeking for the coin, she needed light, and that's what she did to prepare. In other circumstances, there may be some, some other need for preparation. But the Lord can teach us how to prepare in these circumstances to make our seeking as effective as possible. I, I liked this um, passage in Hebrews because I thought that it encapsulated the idea of seeking or searching. In Hebrews 11.13, it says, These all died in faith, not having received the promise, but, and here's the description of seeking, having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them, they embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims in the earth. So they saw what was offered, 
They believed that it was true and attainable, and they desired and loved it, and so shaped their lives according to it. That's what seeking is. Now, we don't want to forget that there is a reward for seeking. Hebrews 11, 6, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must first believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Psalm 34, verse 10, The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. And in Deuteronomy 4, 29, But if from thence thou shalt seek the Lord thy God, thou shalt find him. If thou seek with all thy heart and with all thy soul, what greater reward when we seek the Lord than to find him? He will be found of those that seek him. Remember the Lord told Israel, seek me and ye shall live. So we see really there's no other alternative than to seek the Lord. And for those in Christ who have tasted of the Lord, we don't have any other desire either. Remember David said, one thing have I desired. So we want to have the same response that David did when the Lord called him to seek after him. In Psalm 27, verse 8, David says, When thou saidst, Seek my face, my heart said unto thee, Thy face, Lord, will I seek. We agree. This is a good thing. This is good to seek after the Lord. So in exhorting the saints tonight for the meeting, I wanted us all to consider Isaiah 55, verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. We know he's here in the midst of us tonight. He's near and he is ready to be found. So let us seek him diligently tonight. Our Father in heaven, we're grateful to know that you will be found of those that seek you. Those that seek shall find. And so we come tonight again with a great desire to receive more from you and to be conformed more to the image of your Son. We come seeking, Father, and we ask that you would help us to be diligent in our searching tonight, that you would give the ministers who stand before us grace to deliver the good things of the kingdom that are eternal, that won't pass away, and that you would give those who hear the strength to take a hold of them, so that we would continue to be strong and diligent in our searching for you, and that we would be rewarded, Father, by... uh, by finding you and by finding great satisfaction in your son. We pray this in his name. Amen.